Hey guys, what's up? So I recently tried out the Aspirant Unite event by recharging diamonds on 4 different accounts. Can we really get an epic skin that we do not own? Let's find out! On the first account, I scored 2 epic skins for Uranus and Roger. That's a total of 5 skins. Easy. Not bad, right? Now, on to the second account. Yeah. And I got myself a Badang Collector skin. Wow. Let's move on to the third account. And I got 4 skins with Valier's Dragon Tamer as the best one. Last one. This is actually a saber skin for Johnson. Someone forgot to download all the resources. Uh -oh. Anyway, on this account, I got 3 skins. So based on those 4 accounts, you can really get an epic skin that you do not own. The luckiest I got are the 2 epic skins in single draw. But Badang's collector is also a rare find. And remember, this is your free draws if you recharge. You get to keep the diamonds and use them for whatever purpose you like. I do recommend buying an M5 pass because it gives a ton of time-limited stuff that you can't get anywhere. Now let's answer some of your questions. Can you activate the recharge task with a weekly diamond pass? Yes, that's possible because each weekly pass is equivalent to a 100 diamond recharge. Here's an example. I'll buy one weekly pass. And as you can see, the task has added 100 to the diamond count. Using the same account, I'm going to buy another weekly pass. And it's now at 200 diamonds. So that means you can use the weekly diamond pass to complete the recharge task and you can do it multiple times. Will there be a phase 2? Based on the previous events and its duration, there's a high possibility for a phase 2. I'm guessing that's on December 9, Saturday. But here's the catch, you only get the unknown epic skin on the first 10 draws. After that, you'll still get an epic skin every 10 draws, but duplicates are possible. So what about you? What skin did you get? Share it in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.